Hey guys, this is Robbie, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you why it seems that you just can't seem to focus your brain. And what I mean by that is, let's say that you set some sort of goal, and you find yourself either deviating from that goal, so let's say you start uh, going out and building a business or going on a fitness plan and somewhere along the way you just can't seem to be able to make it actually happen or another example is that you don't even start so you set a goal you know you focus on it you uh, make the necessary preparations and then you don't even start or another example might be related to your attention so for example you try to focus on a task but your mind just keeps escaping to other things uh, that catch your attention. So I'm going to explain what causes this and how to solve it. And it's actually much more simple than you think. It's literally going to take just a few minutes and I'm going to draw you as needed, um, whatever uh, needs explanation. So let's get right into it. The basic premise behind what I'm trying to teach you here is the idea that your brain uh, has this thing, this kind of like a rule that you just can't seem to break in life. And that rule is basically your brain will always, let me just extend it a bit, your brain will always go for the easiest available option in the long run. This is a rule of the way our brains work. Unfortunately, you cannot go against that rule no matter how much you try. What that means is let's say that you have uh, two available paths. So path one leads to glory and path two leads to failure. Now, let's say that you're right here at an intersection and right now, the way you've built it, uh, path two is a bit easier to get on. So pass the path the, the harder path that will lead to basically victory is kind of harder to get into and the harder path is more available. And what I mean by more available is, um, let's say that failure, in this case, uh, let's say you're talking about a business failure. Let's say that if you fail, then it's not gonna be that bad. Um, nobody's gonna judge you too harshly. Um, you haven't really committed that far to the business anyway. I mean, it's not like you invested money in it or that much money. And on the other hand, winning, it has all of these uh, setbacks on the way, all of these challenges. And it's like, it's never like this simple. It's always like, if you want to go to the successful path, it's always like a path which basically looks something like this. You know, like just like you see in the drawings, like it's basically a very problematic way. Now, Let's say you have these two options. Which option do you think that you're gonna go for? Is it gonna be this option, the simple, straightforward, just go straight to failure option, or the super convoluted, dangerous and challenging uh, option of going for the victory? Well, again, simple rule, your brain will always go for the easiest available option in the long run. So let's say that at the beginning, um, you actually start going down this path. And what I mean by that is you literally start moving towards the right path. So you find yourself going there and you start crossing, but then you reach your first problem area. Well, as long as this path right here is still available, as long as it's open and you can always just go back to it, what you'll probably prefer to do is to just redraw your steps, go back and go to the easier path. And when I'm talking about goals, uh, you can also take that idea and basically use it on other areas such as focus and attention. So again, same situ same uh, uh, principle, but just a different situation. Now, let's say, for example, that uh, you have two paths. One path is um, the harder path when, let's say you're talking about studying for school, or let's say you're talking about saving money, or let's say you're talking about uh, working hard into the night on a difficult project. So one decision, which is, the one that will give you more um, positive results in life, uh, let's say we call it studying. Okay, and that, that's like one decision that you can go for. But then you have another decision, which is uh, YouTube. Basically just spending your time on YouTube and uh, watching really, really cool videos. So Google has made it really, really easy for you to pick that option. So again, the option for YouTube, very quick, you're on the express train to enjoying all of this sweet dopamine. 
Or you can go through the complicated route of setting up a schedule and thinking about it and, you know, thinking what to do and preparing your studies and actually sitting down and having to deal with the temptation and only then you get to what you actually wanted. So you'll always ha find yourself going to the easier route. And again, sometimes you might even go on the harder route. You'll actually uh, find yourself starting to climb on the harder route. So you actually start going over it. But then as long as this route is available, as long as this route is is still open to you, you're, you might even trace your steps back. And so let's say you got here, you might even trace your steps back, go back and go to the easier route. Especially again, when you're talking about something like YouTube, where you can literally start on the path and then just jump here because it's literally just opening a new tab and browsing. Now, what would basically make you focus on studying and go through this difficult path and again, you might do it in the short run. So you might do it for one night if you're really uh, disciplined or you might do it for a week. But again, in the long run, basically you're gonna always go to the easier option. So it doesn't matter how much, how long you can stick it out because the game of life is played in longevity. It's not about doing something one time, it's about doing something for a long time. So how do you actually manage to focus on studying rather than watching YouTube? Or how do you actually, again, you can simply uh, replace the word studying with the word uh, business success. Um, it really, really doesn't matter. Or you, you know, and or versus like uh, business uh, failure, uh, you can change it with pretty much anything you can think of. Again, making the easy choice or making the harder choice. So all you have to do to actually manage to uh, go towards the harder option, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is literally to take this option that's currently available for you and simply make it unavailable. <laughs> simply delete that option. Now, what I don't mean like delete the YouTube app from your phone, although you can do that and that might work for an extent. Again, it might work for a week before you'll break, before you'll be like, oh my God, I, I gotta download the app again. You know, I miss it too much. So what you really have to do is create a situation where this path is easier than this path. Now you might ask yourself, how can I create a situation where watching YouTube, you know, which is like the easiest and most like dopamine filled thing in the world, except for like internet porn, how can I make this harder than sitting down and studying? Well, let's say that you call up your friend, okay? And you tell your friend that if you don't study uh, for two hours today, then basically you're going to pay him a thousand dollars. So this path now also comes along with a price tag of one thousand dollars. Now let's weigh costs and benefits here. Let's say that you can either go towards this route of YouTube and pay one thousand dollars for your habit, or you can go through the harder route, but there is no one thousand dollars at the end. Which one is easier now? Well, obviously the easiest path is to simply study or to simply work on your business or whatever it might be. And you really wanna always be aware of this dichotomy of which paths are available to you. And again, just take into account, you cannot be this rule. You just stick it on your wall, write it on your forehead, whatever you need, you cannot be this rule. It is impossible. You will never meet anyone who did it and you yourself cannot do it. You might do it again in the short run. So you might do it for a day, a week, a month, a year, but in the long run, you will always go towards the easier option as long as it's available. So this is pretty much how you manage to focus, how you manage to get anything done, how you manage to accomplish massive tasks that you thought were previously unavailable to you. You don't need to change as a person. You don't need to be somebody else. You don't need to get motivated. You don't need to learn how to focus. You don't need to watch a YouTube video that will teach you how to do it. You don't need to read a book about it. All you have to do is look at, okay, what other options do I have except the one that I currently wanna do? And how do I make it so that these options are much harder that would actually be easier to go for this option. That's it. That's literally as simple as it is. And I'm not talking about making studying more gratifying because as people, we are much more risk averse than we actually are 
uh, reward based. So if you had an option between basically uh, a risk, so let's say you could you have something and you might potentially lose it uh, versus a reward, which means that you might earn something. So the way people's brains work, and this has been tested uh, for many, many years, we would always, I mean like almost 100% of the time, prefer to go uh, to avoid risk, I'm sorry, not risk, but to um, avoid risk rather than to earn something. So when you take that into account, you basically realize why this cannot work. Why, you know, just because you, you know, sit down and write a vision board and how amazing it would be when you achieve your goal and how fun it would be. This is why that idea, it cannot make you go through with your goal. The only way for you to go through with your goal is if it's more painful for you to not do it than to actually do it. That is literally the secret. And again, it doesn't require high intelligence or, or mastery or creativity. It literally requires that you make a commitment before you start anything new that you create a situation where it's easier to do it than to not do it by making it harder to not do it, not by, not by making it easier to do it. That's literally it. And uh, again, if you master this simple idea, then you'll have no problem focusing, you'll have no problem uh, committing to your goals and following through on them. And you'll even be able to challenge yourself to accomplish feats which you've never thought possible. Because again, when you're committed, you also get creative. Uh, just like when uh, you, know, you have like a test in a week and you don't study for it, but then on the last day, uh, you find yourself doing some superhuman feat of studying that you didn't even know you could do. Well, you have much more potential than you think, and you won't discover that potential unless you stretch yourself, and your brain won't let you stretch yourself unless you make it a must, where there's literally no other choice, because any other choice is harder than that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any specific examples that you need me to help you with. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Uh, I'm, I've have not, I have not been active uh, for a while, but I'm considering uh, getting back to it. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.